Right, it's an absolute scorcher. Even though it's really windy, it's really hot. But um, I've done a video a little bit earlier today, in fact, about uh, some new plants I'm getting. I managed to pick one up today. So this is the uh, Ansette Aniba banana. So it's like the green green version to the Insect Morellii vermicosin, but um, there are some differences. I'd, I'd, uh, I'm no expert, I've never grown it before, but I, what I will say is they are similar sort of care. Um, you know, they're not hardy, or certainly not worth risking it, so it will be dug up. So I will be doing it the same way as uh, I do my red insert A's, which is just dig them up with a bit of root, cut all but the centre leaf off, and uh, pop them up in new dry compost and leave them over winter in a in cool conditions, ideally shed, garage, unheated greenhouse, whatever. Um, simple as that. I used to dry store, but that can be a bit hit and miss, and they tend to be a bit slower starting off again. So I'm going to assume, and I've, what I've seen of what other people do it, it's exactly the same method. Um, the differences between this Haniba and the, the red and set A. Um, well, it's obviously green. It has got a thicker leaf and sort of more upright, a little bit more wind resistant and you have a red outline to the leaf which is only just starting to show up on this one and you've got the, the, the red mid vein which is only again just sort of coming in. This is quite a, a small plant from a propagation last year. Um, it's a little bit late in the season but I put it in the ground now We've still got a couple of months of growing, so we'll see how it does. See if we can bulk it up before it's time to dig it out. So that is just my thoughts on uh, this particular banana. Um, we'll show you how the, the red end sets are doing. So we've got Got them in pots, uh, again, not really as big as they were last year. But that's what they look like. There's a... Two. And they're both pretty much the same size. So I have cut some of the older leaves off, which are sort of starting to brown and windswept. That sort of keep them a bit neater. Um, I really do like the leaves on these, they are quite quite nice, you get a nice sort of green fade into that red and they really are quite red places and if we can get the, the sunlight coming through yeah so that is what the, the red and say which is the most common one you'll find obviously the Haniba and so is still quite hard to get hold of to be fair and I'll tell you how much I paid for this this was uh, £45 and it's only about two foot it's got two leaves and it's got a third leaf now starting to unfold so it's not a huge plant but I guess down to this uh, rarity that warrants the price tag I mean there are a few on I don't know, Facebook Marketplace and as such, they normally go for around 60 and they may well be slightly bigger plants than this, so I'm not going to say that's a bad price. But yeah, I paid 45 for this, so I wouldn't say I was happy to pay that, but I think it's a fair price for that rarer, rarer type banana. So um, to finish up with, what we will do is I've got another end set and I can't remember for the life of me what its full name is, so I just call it green 
insert but this is more of a similar leaf shape to the insert Morelii vermicose and the red one so a very similar leaf shape to that but it's a sort of more rounded if you like but this is a really lime green version I don't see many people having these and I, I, this was a bit of an accident I did buy some seed and gave up on it and one popped up and so that's what that is um, so yeah the difference between this and the Aniba is going to be it's a lot lighter sort of limey green and the uh, midrib to the leaf is yellow or very pale at least you've still got the, the red outline to the leaf so again I treat this exactly the same as my, the red end sets where I'll just dig up you, you could dry store or like the, the method I mentioned earlier just sort of dry pot cut most of the leaves off so um, yeah so basically we've got three types of end set banana now and uh, yeah I think they're a good uh, variation to you standard loser baju which struggle in the wind so after a few weeks you end up with leaves like this that just sort of give up and shred up well, I know this is what they do they're designed to do that they're designed to shred to let the wind through but um, yeah these are a bit of a nightmare because uh, they want a heck of a lot of water well, all bananas will do, obviously, but I don't know, you really notice it on these when they haven't had water. And I mean, I bought these last night, and you know, today with the wind and heat, the leaves are just folded over flat, which means they obviously want water, but I water them tonight. Um, <clears throat> yes, yeah, so I think that concludes my thoughts on the end set so let's finish up on a new one again um, so yeah I mean we'll do an update on this maybe in two or three weeks and uh, see how that new leaf does which they're now getting ready to put on some size and uncurl um, yes it is in the, the shady side of the, the garden I know but that what that is is I, I call it the shady side but it still gets a good six six to seven hours of sunlight you know early morning to just after midday so this, I guess you could say full sun if you look up what full sun is that's six hours or more basically so that's going to be on the low end because it's early morning sunshine and not getting the full afternoon heat but we'll see how it does like I say it's the first year I'm not necessarily planning to keep it here next year I may well put it somewhere else but yeah we'll uh, give it a go and keep you updated thanks for watching